Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our second lesson uh, having to do with location and how we describe it. Uh, keeping in mind that location is one of the five themes of geography, and in this case, um, we're treating it like it's pretty important because it is. So, this is what is location lesson two. Uh, you should already have the essential question written across the top of your Cornell notes. And so we're just going to do a quick review of lesson one here. This is going to be kind of like the, the drive-by uh, lesson one review, um, where we talked about latitude. Latitude lines travel in an east-west direction, measure the distance north or south from the equator. The equator is an imaginary line that is zero degrees latitude and we call lines of latitude parallels so because they are always the same distance apart and they never touch they are always parallel so the equator is zero degrees latitude divides the earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere hemisphere meaning half of a sphere uh, the north pole is at 90 degrees north latitude the south pole is at 90 degrees south latitude. There is no such thing as 91 degrees latitude. Uh, longitude, more or less exactly the opposite. Longitude lines travel from north to south, but they tell us how far we are east or west of the prime meridian. Um, the prime meridian is an imaginary line that is zero degrees longitude. Um, and lines of longitude are called meridians. So if you keep in mind that lines of latitude are called parallels and lines of longitude are called meridians, that might be something you want to repeat in your head over and over again. The prime meridian, as I said, is zero degrees longitude. It divides the Earth into the eastern and western hemispheres. On the exact opposite side of the Earth is another line we call the International Date Line, which is 180 degrees longitude. It's neither east nor west. There are two lines of longitude that are neither east nor west. That's the Prime Meridian and the International Date Line. Okay. Both of those lines actually divide the Earth into the eastern and western hemispheres. It's just one is on one side of the planet and the other is on the other side of the planet. And always keep in mind that a hemisphere means half of a sphere. If you were to look at this slide, ladies and gentlemen, it's basically a test review slide looking right at you. So keep this slide in mind. But right now we're going to talk about it in more detail. So here we have a cutout drawing that shows how lines of longitude and latitude work. Up here, these are latitude lines. So here's the equator. This is zero degrees latitude. The North Pole is 90 degrees north, and the South Pole is 90 degrees south. Notice the S is an abbreviation for south. So if you're on that line, you are 15 degrees south from the equator. Here we are at 45 degrees north. We are 45 degrees north from the equator. Um, latitude is measured from the equator. And the degrees actually are based upon an actual geometric angle that is associated with the core of the planet. As you can see here, if the core of the planet um, marks the origin of the angle, there's your angle right there. So we, we just, we went totally math on you right there. Ge geometry to be exact. Uh, down here we have longitude. The prime meridian is zero degrees longitude. So here you're to the right of it. You're 15 degrees east of it. Here you're 15 degrees west and so on and so on. Notice how all of the lines of longitude meet at the North Pole and the South Pole. So whereas lines of latitude are always parallel, they're always the same distance apart and they never touch, Lines of longitude all touch each other and come together at the North Pole and the South Pole. Uh, here is a map of our planet showing you this. Uh, that this is the international date line here. 
Uh, if you're on one side of it, you're in one day. If you cross it this direction, you're crossing into tomorrow. If you cross it this direction, you're crossing into yesterday. I have a completely different video that'll show you that. So we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. But um, basically, here's your equator. Um, we're right here on the 45th parallel. So we are at about 124 degrees west longitude and about 45 degrees north latitude. Uh, if you live in Kaiser, like I do, um, you're north of the 45th parallel for the most part. And um, Salem is south of the 45th parallel. But uh, Oregon's very good about putting signs on the freeway telling you when you're crossing the 45th parallel because it is halfway between the equator and the North Pole because halfway is, uh, 45 degrees is halfway between zero and 90. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and pause the video and take a gander at this, go ahead and do that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to advance. So once again, here is a demonstration of the hemispheres, hemisphere being half of a sphere. The prime meridian separates the eastern hemisphere right here from the western hemisphere right here, whereas the equator separates the northern hemisphere right here from the southern hemisphere right here. Um, we also have all the continents here. Um, we're not talking about that right now, but it's a lovely graphic. You can look at it if you want. This would be a good time to press pause if you want to continue with this slide. Because otherwise, we're about to do something very exciting. What is that, you may ask, Mr. Blumendahl? We are going to use Google Earth to test out this whole longitude-latitude uh, theory. So, right now, I'm going to go to View on my browser. Now, I'm using a Mac. Uh, the Chromebooks would allow you to do this as well, I believe. You go to View, and it should say Add Grid Line. So I'm going to go to Grid right there and pop that in. Okay? We're also going to go full screen with this bad boy because I want this to take up the screen so you're not looking at my toolbar. So full screen. I just saw it. Where was it? View sign. Grid overlap. Tour guide. You know what? I'm just going to go up and do it up here. Do, do, do. Full screen. There we go. We're now full screen. So um, let's first find us. Notice our grid lines here. So there's west longitude 130, there's west 110. I'm zooming in. So as you zoom in, those lines are actually gonna become a lot more detailed. Um, longitude and latitude are actually defined in um, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So the degrees would be the largest line. So this is 122 degrees, 30 minutes west longitude. That's what that's telling you. Now we're in Oregon. So we're going to zoom in right here. And I'm going to find Waldo Middle School in Salem. Notice how as I get closer, these become a lot more detailed. Look, 44 degrees, 58 minutes. 45 degrees, 2 minutes. Um, very, very detailed. Um, we are around about here. So notice as I do this, it gets more and more detailed. Now we're getting even into seconds. 44 minutes, 58 degrees, 30 seconds. That's what that means. And I just happen to know that Waldo Middle School is located right about here. And so we're going to come and visit our school. And let's see if they have the up. Nope, they don't. Our classroom is actually right here. But this satellite image was taken before the classrooms were put there. So the trees that used to be here are still there. But this is where our classroom is. So if you look down here in the lower corner, it shows you where we are at exactly in terms of our absolute location. So if the classroom's right here, it's basing it on whatever the pointer says. So our classroom is at 44 degrees, 57 minutes, 41.19 seconds north latitude, and it's at 122 degrees, 59 minutes, 
in 59.78 seconds west longitude. Now, Mr. Conwell's room actually is at 123 degrees exactly. Look at that. If I'm playing around with it, now I've got 123 degrees um, west longitude exactly goes right through our classroom. How exciting is that? That's very exciting. We're going to go and zoom out now. We, you can get even, you can go three dimensional with this. Check that out. All right. So now we're going to go out directly above Waldo from space. And I'm going to take you to where I grew up. Why not? Because I can. I grew up in Los Angeles. Uh, specifically, I grew up in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, which happens to be right here. So I'm going to take you to the house I grew up in, and you have to promise not to go bother my mother because she still lives there. Uh, let's wait for the graphics here to settle out. There they go. We're waiting for the detail to fill in. Uh, my computer's a little bit laggy, so hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, it's going to be in here, I do believe. So if the detail doesn't fill in, I may have to just call this a video for now, but I'm hoping that's not the case. Uh, but what you can already see is that my mother lives much farther south because look at the, the details there. 34 degrees, 14 minutes. We're at 45, so that's 11 degrees further south. Notice how many people live there. Okay, I grew up right around here. So we're going to get exact. And I can pluck out the streets from space because I'm that good. Now we're getting much closer. And this is my mother's neighborhood because I can tell that's the high school near my house. And that's the VA hospital where I grew up. My little league was there. So now let's wait for the details to fill in again. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I can actually see my mother's house. This is my mother's house. And that is my mother's car. So, the house I grew up in in Southern California is at 34 degrees, 15 minutes, and 6.06 .06 seconds north of the equator. Or from another perspective, it's 11 degrees south of where we are here at Waldo Middle School. And it's at 118 degrees, 29 minutes, 8.99 seconds west longitude. So that is a difference of 15 degrees in longitude. So Los Angeles is actually much further to the east uh, than we are. And if you were to look at a map of the west coast of North America, that would make sense to you. Now there's the trailer where I always went on vacations too, that trailer. There's went with me all over the place. There's my house in three. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Yeah, we're in my mother's backyard. That's crazy. Actually, this is my mother's backyard. And there's the trailer right there. Boom. That's kind of that. Yep, there's my there's my mom's house. All right. You don't care about that. We're going to exit Street View. Now let's go someplace exotic. We've done two places in the Northern Hemisphere and we've done two places in the United States. So let's escape from that. Let's go back out into space and we're going to choose someplace random in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm thinking either South Africa or Australia. Um, let's do Australia. Why not? So I'm dragging the planet. There's Australia. I'm a big fan of Australia. Let's wait for everything to um, fill in in terms of the internet. Uh, notice we are now south of the equator. That no longer has an N there. It has an S. And notice we're now east of the prime meridian because um, that has an E after it instead of a W. Speaking of which, this right here is the international date line. This is 180 degrees. Notice there's 175 degrees west. 175 degrees east, that makes this 180 degrees. We're going to go to Tasmania. Why? Because we can. We're going to go to the furthest south you can go in Australia. Because Tasmania 
is actually part of Australia. It is administered by the Australian government. Uh, and just because I see this 360 degree thing here, we're going to go right here. Where is here? We're in South Bruni, Tasmania, in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere. So we are now at 43 degrees, 26 minutes, 42 seconds south latitude. And we are at approximately 147 minutes, 14, or 147 degrees, 14 minutes east. So this is east and south. We are north and west. This is east and south. And since I've taken you here to the southern tip of the world, practically, should we take a look at what it looks like? It's a national park in Tasmania, Australia. Let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and go inside. This is what it looks like on the south end of Australia, in the southern hemisphere, and the eastern hemisphere. And you know what, folks? And there's a, a lonely guy walking on the beach in Australia. Our world is a pretty spectacular place. The fact that we can map out every single square inch of our planet using longitude and latitude, call me crazy, but it's kind of exciting, folks. Um, you may not agree with me, but that's okay. One thing is going to happen, though, folks. I have now explained to you longitude and latitude in a great deal of detail. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, now would be the time to ask me questions about things you don't understand. Uh, but other than that, it's once again time to end the lesson on the Waldo Middle School Social Studies YouTube Network.